Before attempting to correct any issues with your auto mower, check the troubleshooting section of the user manual first. If your auto mower has a blue flashing light, your boundary wires may be disconnected, or you may have a break in your boundary wire loop. Make sure that the purple connectors are connected correctly to the AR and the AL on the back of the charging station. Then check the purple connectors. Make sure they are fully crimped down onto the boundary wires as shown. To see if there's a break in the boundary loop, check to see if the mower is stopped near the perimeter of the loop. The boundary wire may have been cut by the mower if not properly stapled down. To identify which section of the boundary loop is broken, first unplug the boundary wire connected to the AL port, but leave the AR connected. Then unplug all guide wires and connect each one to the AL port one at a time if you have multiple guide wires. This will create smaller loops between the AL and each guide wire. If the charging station LED changes to solid green, then you know that the section of the loop between the AL and that guide wire is not broken. Repeat this same process with each guide wire until you get a flashing blue light again. If the break is not found, then reconnect the AL wire, disconnect the AR wire, and repeat the process again until you have a flashing blue light between AR and one of the guides. If you have a unit with multiple guide wires, you can connect two of the guide wires to the AR and the AL to further narrow down the section of the property where you have the break. Make sure you keep the map that was drawn before installation. It can come in handy to remind you where your guide wires are connected later. Once the broken section is identified, walk the perimeter of the loop in that section. Do a visual inspection to see if you can locate the broken wire above the ground. Be on the lookout for signs such as animals digging, yard work, landscaping, or vehicles driving over the wire. If the broken wire is above ground or easy to locate, check all the blue couplers where the guide connects to the boundary or where the wires were spliced together. If you still can't find the break, you can pull up wire until it's found. Buy a wire break finding device or contact a Husqvarna dealer who has professional wire break fixing tools. These handheld tools detect electronic signals in a live wire like your automower's boundary wire. Set up the tool according to the manufacturer's instructions and dial its sensitivity up to maximum. Follow the boundary loop around your yard, pointing the finder toward the wire. When the finder detects an active signal, it will give off either an audio tone, a flashing light, or both. When you reach a point along the boundary loop where the signal stops, that means you have found the break. Once the break has been located, cut the wire back two feet in each direction from the break. This is to ensure that all the damaged wire has been removed. Then, use two official couplers to splice a length of wire back into the broken section. Use the finder to confirm the wire has a signal. If it does, securely staple the wire back down to the ground, and your Husqvarna automower is back to providing a perfect lawn 24-7.